In this tutorial I'll show you how you can add inline footnoting that you might have seen in my sample content. First of all I'll need the citation text itself so I have some sample text in my browser. This is the source I'm just going to copy that, return back to Dreamweaver and position the, the cursor wherever I'd like to place the citation itself. What we're in essence going to do is create superscript and you might be familiar with that in Word where you've got the, the text that's slightly above the line. Unfortunately Dreamweaver doesn't have a ready button for that. I wish it were so. But none of these buttons create supertext so we're going to have to do this a slightly more circuitous means. There's two ways that I'll show you. You can choose your preferred. The first is to use this quick tag editor which I showed you in my previous recording. Go in and type in SUP which is the code for supertext so that's placed there and then you can paste the citation that you created earlier and then when I click back in the window it places that text there the text is smaller above the line and in yellow and if I save that and preview that in my browser You'll notice in essence what it's done is to replace that with the number 1. When I click on that 1 I get the citation and the, the citation is also lower on the page as a reference. Let me now return to Dreamweaver and show you the alternative method. It does the same thing but just in a slightly different way. Again place the cursor wherever you'd like to place the citation in this example we're going to use the library features which I showed you in my previous recording but there's a library item for footnote so if you prefer it you could use this approach to drag a footnote into place and then detach that from the original in order to edit it and we can start typing our alternative citation Choose a method that suits you. I, my preference is for the first. I find it less problematic. But when we now save this and re return to the browser, give it a bit of a refresh, you'll notice now that it's adjusted the numbers. So the first item it finds is number one. Then this now becomes number two. And lower down, you've got those citations at the bottom of the page. 